efficiency of machines is measuring how much work um, you put into a machine and then how much useful output of work is done by the machine. And high efficiency machines are going to produce less heat, less friction, and what they call an ideal machine is one that has 100% efficiency. So everything you put in comes right back out. There's no friction, there's no heat. Everything um, comes back out energy-wise as you put in. But in the real world, and what they call real machines, friction is gonna happen, heat's gonna happen, and the efficiency is always gonna be less than 100%. So in order to calculate efficiency, they have a formula here. We're gonna do work out, the work that is output, divided by the work in, how much work we put into the system, and then we're gonna multiply by 100 in order to get a percentage. So we're gonna do an example here. We're gonna find the efficiency of this machine. It does 800 joules of work. That's gonna be our output, because that's what it does for us. And the work input was 2,400 joules. So for our given, we're looking for the efficiency. So I'm gonna put E question mark. Our work out is equal to the 800 joules. Our work in is equal to the 2,400 joules. So clearly we put in 2,400 joules of energy. We're gonna get out 800 joules of energy. Clearly it's not 100% efficient, but let's figure out what percent efficient this machine actually is. So my formula, efficiency is work out divided by the work in times 100. So I'm gonna plug in my numbers here. My work out was 800 joules divided by the work in, which is 2,400 joules. And then we're gonna multiply by 100 at the end to get the percentage. So 800 divided by 2,400 is equal to 0.33 repeating. And if I multiply that by 100, I'm going to round that answer to 33%, which is a fairly low efficiency rate for a machine, considering that 100% efficiency would be an ideal machine.